Hey, hi, in this video, we will see what are MCP servers. Here, we will use AWS MCP servers as the foundational base here, and we understand how does the MCP servers works and how it is being used in the industry. So here, we are using example AWS MCP servers, but at a general level, the MCP server knowledge remains same. So here, let's try to understand what are AWS MCP servers at fundamentally. AWS MCP servers are a suite of specialized MCP servers that helps you to get most out of the AWS wherever you use MCP. Let's try to understand a little bit more deeper, right? So here, um, as we just now saw, AWS MCP servers are specialized servers that helps uh, AI application to integrate with the uh, AWS services through MCP, that is Model Context Protocol. This MCP servers provides access to the AWS documentation contextual guidance and best practices which will enhance the cloud native development now let's try to see the concept just now we be used that is uh, let's try to understand model context protocol that is generally called as a mcp the mcp is an open source or basically it's an open protocol that enables seamless integration between llm application and external data sources and tools Let's try to go a little bit deeper and try to understand what is MCP here. As we have just now seen that MCP is open protocol that enables seamless integration between LLM and external, uh, you know, the data sources or tools. So you have the LLM, intelligent LLM, which is basically capable enough to give answers to all your queries. But if that LLM, LLM is empowered with the contextual data there where you want to have the queries on that, so then this LLM becomes more efficient enough to answer your queries. And this process will be uh, you know, supported by a protocol called model context protocol. So here MCP server is the again another application or server basically that exposes the capability that MCP clients, MCP clients being like chatbots, ID or AI tools used to access the contextual data which will enhance the, you know, the output of the model. Uh, let's try to see how does AWS MCP server works. So this diagram depicts actually how does the MCP servers works. So in the right hand side you have a LLM. The on the basically on the right hand side you have a AWS resources. In the left hand side you have the LLM AI application. So MCP server sits in between and tries to empower the LLM. Let's try to dig down and see you know how does basically uh, AWS MCP servers works. So as we have seen in this diagram, that is AWS MCP servers connects AI assistant, nothing but like an LLM, right? And applications to the AWS services through a standardized MCP architecture. It provides an intelligent access to the AWS knowledge, uh, enabling efficient cloud development and automations as well. Now let's see why AWS MCP server exists. So there are main regions, um, uh, like as you see in the bullet points. So basically we need AWS MCP server to improve the output of an LLM. You need to have the MCP servers to have the access to the latest documentation so that LLM can answer better with a better quality. And you need you know, AWS MCP server for workflow automations as well. Let's try to see those points a little bit deeper. So like uh, why AWS MCP servers are needed. So we have just seen that it basically uh, improves the uh, output quality of the AI application with the context aware response, right? That will reduce the hallucinations and enhances the accuracy of the response. So when you give a more context to the AI application, the AI application uses those uh, contextual data and gives your answer, you know, more closer to the accurate or basically accurate only, which means that, you know, you are reducing the hallucinations, which is a problem of LLM and also enhances the accuracy. And then, um, you know, the other one is uh, with MCP server, you can access the latest documentation. So through the MP, you know, through the AWS MCP server, you can connect to the AWS knowledge bases. So basically that's, that's the approach, you know, where you always have the interfaces with the latest documentation. So that's the reason your response will be uh, latest, right? And also it empowers the workflow automation that is um, with integrating the AWS tools like CDT and Terraform. So it will fuel the, you know, uh, workflow automations indeed specialized domain knowledge so i think we have already talked this point uh, while we are covering the the first point so when you feed in the AI application with the right data you get a you know right answer so that's the reason 
the answers will be with the deep understanding of ews best practices as well let's see you know what are all the available uh, ews mcp servers so these are all the list of uh, aws mcp servers let's try to dig down on each point here the available um, aws mcp servers being like first one is the documentation aws mcp server which will enable you to get the access to the all aws documentation so aws documentation is a huge library so with the aws mcp server you can interface to those documentation and get the realistic answers and then infrastructure and deployment so basically uh, there is another uh, aws mcp server has been created which will enable you to work uh, very realistically or work intelligently on this concept that is infrastructure and deployment so that's the reason it will enable you to build uh, and manage the infrastructure in a sophisticated manner or very efficiently and then you have the mcp servers uh, for ai and ml so that is available for enhance you know available for AI applications uh, which will enhance their capabilities then we have the mcp servers for data and analytics which will handle the data workflows and all developer tools so which is most famous mcp server is developer tools which will do the code analysis and testing as well integration and messaging so this is basically for integration purpose which will enable your workflows and connectivities in your applications and then the last one is cost and operation so this is you know when you have the infrastructure running on the clouds like aws azure gcp so you want to have the control on your cost and operations and there is also a dedicated aws mcp server for this and then the finally healthcare and life science which is the realistic applications of ai um, in the current uh, trend so we also have the aws mcp server for healthcare and life science which will enable the aws ai services with this context let's try to understand um, the difference between two types of uh, you know mcp servers local mcp servers versus remote mcp servers so uh, what is actually the local mcp servers local mcp servers is best for local development offline work and privacy so local mcp servers will have the low latency and full control over the resources so basically this is nothing but you know generally called as a uh, you know the uh, local uh, co-pilot so let's say that you have a visual studio kind of id you know you have enabled the uh, you know the intelligent agent within that id and that enables you to write the code efficiently so that is nothing but example of local mcp servers and then the another type of uh, you know mcp server is remote mcp server so that is for something beyond that concept concept that is ideal for collaboration scalability and management purpose so when you have a team of people working on a, a particular ai application or particular development or particular collaboration right so that is where remote mcp servers plays a vital role because you know you get a single source of truth that is accessed by multiple people so that's the reason the mcp server has to be in a remote or it should be hosted you know in the web application like that so it is for ideal for collaboration scalability and managed services level aws managed options requires no setup here uh, next one is uh, what are all the workflows and use cases of um, you know the mcp servers here aws mcp servers that is for web coding for development purpose conversational assistance right and then autonomous background agents let's try to see uh, our workflows and use cases of uh, mcp servers one is web coding and development so that is basically recent trend in the it industry where uh, you know uh, people are banking more on web coding basically it is you know uh, accelerating the developers work acting you know because here our mcp server is acting as an uh, you know the ai coding assistant in the sense you know it is making our uh, uh, you know the ai agents which is powered by mcp servers more intelligent enough and that will enable the developers to do the coding very fastly and then we have a conversational assistant chat box so this is basically like you know you have the uh, you know you have like uh, uh, you know web supports you have the support team uh, you know uh, who needs to help the client so in this case you generally have the assistant people you know working in picture right so that's where those are all getting replaced by chatbots and qa uh, you know the q and a uh, use cases so generally this is a place you know where we employ the mcp server so that that assistant that is virtual assistant gets uh, powered with the knowledge and then that conversational assistant help enables the clients with the right answer so basically this kind of applications we see in the supports okay so supports it can be from the contact center it can be uh, in the in your application in your product support actually so that is where conversational assistant comes in picture autonomous background agent so basically with the ai agentic ai 
So we can build autonomous background agent, which will do our autonomous act and automations in our infrastructure and eventually ETL as well. Let's dig down in the examples of uh, workflows and use cases. One is, uh, you know, use AWS documentation for MCP for updated AWS code. Use CDK Terraform MCP for IAC automations as well. Then use a cost analysis uh, MCP for budget insighting as well. So these are all the applications of um, example applications of uh, AWS MCP servers. Let's see the final one, how to get started with the MCP servers. So here getting started with the MCP server, you know, is something like this. Here AWS MCP servers brings the power to the power of AWS to the AI driven development or AI driven, uh, you know, the uh, uh, infrastructure development as well, explores the official uh, AWS managed MCP servers to integrate the cloud capability seamlessly into your AI uh, workflows. And then of course, uh, you know, the uh, it's open source community driven and designed for the futuristic uh, of uh, AI cloud integration. So, so these are all the thing, but you know, the input for you to get started with the AWS MCP servers. So with this context of AWS MCP servers, we learned what is MCP and MCP servers. That's all for this uh, lab, you know, let's get started. Uh, let's see more details into the next video. Thanks for watching this video.